It's something that I think that all of us, especially the boys, have done. Fight with guns, done a bit of war, but there are some toys you won't see in the shops ever again. Ian Hopkins from the Museum of Childhood. What are we looking at here? Uh, this is the Führer's Limousine. It was made during the Second World War by a company called Tip & Co. Uh, Tip & Co were originally owned by a Jewish family, um, and the owners, Philip Ullman and Arthur Katz, uh, fled to Britain in the 1930s from Nuremberg and set up uh, a firm called Metoy, which most people will know for later producing the Corgi Ranger cars. Um, Tip & Co, as a company, continued producing toys uh, owned by the, the, the Third Reich, and this is an example of their work. So that was the Führer's Limousine, toy number two, again. You wouldn't see this in the shops anymore. No, I don't think so. Um, we've borrowed this from the Spielzeug Museum in Nuremberg. Uh, it's a, a German toy made during the First World War, and it shows a German soldier uh, about to kill a French soldier. It's quite a brutal image. Toy number three, what are we looking at? Uh, this is a small child's game. It's only 11 centimetres high. It was made six months after the atomic bomb uh, was dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And it's uh, a very simple one of the card games where you have to put the, uh, the mercury ball into the, the little holes. Um, six months after the bombing yeah, of Hiroshima yeah. and Nagasaki. Exactly. These, these sort of objects are great. They really open the world into what society was thinking and feeling at the time. So I think they're, they're very powerful, very toxic objects, but, but really powerful objects as well. Toy number four. This is the dartboard. Uh, now's your chance to get those Japs smack in the pants. Uh, it's encouraging children to throw darts at the Japanese. It was made in America during the Second World War. The strength of feeling um, was obviously very high. And as well as the, the, the sort of national stereotypes, uh, the targets are the, the, the red circles. Uh, obviously, they're, they're on their pants, but also they represent the national symbol of Japan. So it's, it's a double insult, if you like. And number five, what is to me the most unbelievable one? We've borrowed this from the, the Wiener Library in London. Uh, it is a, it's called a Legerspiel. It's a tile game. It's quite innocuous looking. They're just some nice wooden, really well-finished uh, tiles. Uh, if you put them in the, the right order, uh, you can spell the word Hitler. And at what sort of age group? for three, four young children, young children.